Okay, hi. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Good. Hey, welcome, Leslie. Need the energy here. So we're running. Hey, hey guess what, though? Oh, go ahead. My my body thought it would be funny, you know, knowing that I'm I'm going to be talking a lot this morning. My body thought it would be funny to chip a tooth last night. Uh, Halloween's already over, Leslie. <laughs> Do what? Halloween's already over. I know, man, but at least I'm not whistling. No. Oh, oh got it. Yes, that one. At least you're not whistling. That's funny. So I'm going. I'm going to the dentist <laughs> during lunch. Okay. Um. Well, for the rest of us that have our, all of our teeth intact, hopefully, um, I'm gonna let us introduce ourselves. So we'll start with the online folks. Mm -hmm. uh, so the the Zoomies. Um, Leslie, why don't you start us and then kick it to the next person? And each time you introduce yourself, kick it to another person. All right. Um, my name is Leslie Witte. I'm the VP of Communications and Outreach for the South Central Workforce Development Board. And I'm going to kick it to Denise McDonald. Take it away, Denise. Good morning. Uh, Denise McDonald with Logan County Good Samaritan. And um, look forward to being in the meeting this week this month since uh, I missed last month. Sorry about that. We didn't have one. Oh, I tried. That's why. <laughs> uh, I, here, I thought I was a bad girl and I was No, no, you're good. Okay, thanks. Who so do you yeah, who do you nominate to go next? Um, Let's see. Not everybody has their camera on, so you might have to look at the participant list. What about Naranda? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm Deronda with the South Central Workforce Development Board. I'm the office manager here. I do not have as much energy as Leslie, so I'm just going to kick it right on to Adam Canada. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Adam Canada. I, I've seen a couple of you before, Miss Beverly. I think I saw you at Park Place Recovery when I was there. I've worked a number of years at Life Skills and just recently. Uh, took a new role over at the International Center as their employment program manager. So uh, some of you may have known me while I was at Life Skills, but now I'm in a different nonprofit. Uh, yes, I know my last name is Canada and I work at the International Center. The irony is not lost upon me. Uh, but yes, so if you have any questions about anything in the International Center related or anything like that, uh, I would love to hear from you and uh and, and meet with you at some point. So it's good to be here. I will pass uh, it to Miss Beverly. Good morning. And Adam, it's, it's good to see you again. And hopefully we can set up a meeting real soon. Uh, I am a liaison specialist for the Forest Service Job Corps Civilian Conservation Center. Uh, and so I represent them and I am a workforce board member. And I am recruiting for students for Job Corps as well as staff. Oh, and I will kick it to Shana Myers. Hi, yes, uh, I'm Shanna Myers. I actually work for Audubon Area Community Services, and we are contracted with the Department of Community-Based Services with the Kentucky Works Program, and I am a career readiness trainer. So I do uh, employment readiness training for um, SNAP and KTAP recipients. So, and I'm trying to see, I think everybody I see on my screen's already went, let's see. Hey, Pamela. <laughs> What are you doing? I'll pass it on to Pamela. I actually know her. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm Pamela Pittman with Audubon Area Community Services. I'm the job placement specialist for the Senior Community Service Employment Program. And I will kick it to Sarah. Good morning. I am Sarah Russell with Audubon Area Community Services. Um, I am the program manager with the Kentucky Works Program and the SNAP Employment and Training Program. It's so great to see everybody this morning. And I will pass this to, I'm looking to see who has not made this this morning. I'm gonna pass this to Paula Brooks. I knew that you would. Good morning, <laughs> my name is Paula Brooks and I'm with the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation and I'm the Job Placement Specialist 
and I'm attending today so Leslie can teach me everything she knows about IT. Okay. Okay. And I think the last one joining remotely is Miss Brittany. So Brittany, if you could introduce yourself. I was trying to figure out how to hide. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my name is Brittany Sweeney and I am the, uh, with Barron County Adult Education and I am the College and Career Navigator. Great. All right, now we'll do the ones in the room, starting with Miss yeah. Anna. Good morning, happy Thursday. I'm Anna San Cristobal, New American Workforce Navigator for South Central Workforce Development Board. And I nominate Shannon. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Shannon Gottke with Career Team. And Denise, I apologize for not remembering that we didn't have a meeting last week. I, I passively uh, participated in her scolding herself yesterday for missing the meeting. So I'll, I'll try to keep up better. Um, I'm Laura Deglo with uh, Western Kentucky University, continuing in professional development. That's a mouthful. Um, I'm the program coordinator for lifelong learning. Good morning, everyone. TJ Shockley Hunt. I'm with Sky CTC as a workforce liaison slash project manager. Uh, I'm a three-term board member, so I'm part of the furniture now, and uh, I was the lucky one who didn't get the memo that we didn't have a meeting last month, so I came to the meeting that wasn't taking place, so anyway, that that's okay. Don't worry about it at all. That Overachiever. That you, yeah, that you thought you missed the meeting, because I came to the meeting that wasn't happening, so. Can I get a press on here? I don't think so. No, no. Okay. Uh, my name is Mark Hamilton. I'm the director of uh, Veterans Upper Bound Trio Program in the Department of Education. And what we do is we assist veterans going ahead and getting uh, into post-secondary education, whether it's a two-year degree, four-year degree, or a certifica certification program. We help them navigate uh, a bunch of different forms and hurdles so they're actually able to enroll and get into school and attain their post-secondary goals. So if you have anybody that's a veteran that's out there that's looking to go to a post-secondary Secondary education, please put them in touch with Veterans Upper Bound. Fantastic. All right. Well, welcome, everybody. And I'm uh, Brian Becker with the Workforce Development Board. So um, for anybody that this is their first meeting or maybe hasn't been in a while, just a quick recap. Um, we try to meet monthly. It's typically the first Thursday of the month and only doesn't meet if it's like fall, spring break or a holiday or something falling on that time. So that's what happened last month um, because we know a lot of people take off during that time, even though none of us in the adult world get fall break or spring break. Um, that, uh, you know, it, it hurts our participation, but we want to get together. We're sharing uh, resources, knowledge of things, workforce. So pretty much that's the common denominator with all of us. Um, so there's a lot of needs uh, that our community has, but we are trying to tackle the workforce once in particular. So each uh, entity brings something unique kind of to the table. And um, and so that's what we usually highlight and discuss. We are uh, looking for a lineup um, as we head, especially into 2024. So we typically take a topic and we will sometimes uh, have one person present or we'll have several people that might uh, share that same topic to present. So. Um, I think it might be time to retail some old ground because I've gone back and looked at we have like two and a half years worth that we've been doing the meeting this way coming up on that. So um, we used to just kind of get together and our one stop operator, uh, for those of you guys that know that position and Frank Garibato is currently in that that person used to lead the positions but Leslie and I have kind of been taking it on but again we're trying to talk about all things workforce. Um, oh, and we've had a late arrival, not that I'm calling her out, but uh, somebody from Sky CTC Adult Ed, if you will introduce yourself. Oh, thank you for calling me out, Brian. <laughs> Hi, I am Joda Johnson, uh, Director of Sky CTC Adult Education. And that is Dr. Joda Johnson. So you got to start using that doctor. I got to get used to it. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, but I will say too that uh, Frank is sort of our one-stop person to send out uh, information and news and announcements and blasts that you have. So um, I try to say this each month, but if you've got something, you don't have to wait for this meeting to share it. Um, he will uh, send it out and sometimes send out, you know, flyers, uh, events, anything. That way it's easy for everybody to just look from Frank's email address to try to find information that's going on. Um, I just recently signed back up. I hadn't done it in like three jobs. It's been like 20 years ago, but 
if anybody gets those multi-agency vision emails or anything like that, right, with community needs that are on there, um, those all come from Josh at Community Ed. So the same concept that you have one person that you can kind of try to search your inbox for instead of thinking, who sent me that? Where did I get that? Um, so get that to Frank. But we also allow space at this meeting if anybody wants to share news, updates, events, anything that is going on, and we will share some uh, as far as our workforce system goes and events we're doing. But Anybody want to share anything that they want to make everybody aware of? No, pretty quiet. We're ready for the holidays. Oh, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Yes, Ms. Pam. Um, I always just like to get the word out and make people aware of the Senior Community Service Employment Program. It's a uh, wonderful program for low-income individuals, 55 and older, who want to work 20 hours a week and make some extra money. Um, and on the other side of that, we are always looking for host agencies, some place to place our participants to work 20 hours a week. And that would be your government organizations or any 501c3s. So please keep us in mind. Um, it's really rough out there and um, most people could use some extra money. Thank you. Yeah, great, thank you. Anyone else? I have a question for Pamela. Uh, you don't do Logan County, do you? I don't, ma'am. I'm sorry. You might check with Goodwill. They also have this program, and they have counties that I don't have. Um, right off the bat, I can't remember if they have Logan. but you They do, and, and I'm hooked they, up okay. with them, but I didn't know if maybe I could double dip. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we do. We share a lot of the same counties. But, yeah, I don't have Logan. I'm sorry. I wish I did. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, I'll, um, we typically share some job fairs or community events that are going on that oftentimes we're involved in or helping to organize ourselves. So um, we often do something called Talent Tuesday, and that was the intent in Allen County to do that event. But um, it's kind of one better because we're going in with um, other resource providers, uh, particularly WKU's Educational Opportunity Center um, and the, the library there that's going to play host to a resource fair and overall resource fair so not just a job um, and career fair but other resources that will be there so that's going on on the um about a week and a half from now i guess well no, two and a half weeks from now the 14th so and i'd like seeing that it's in the later afternoon i know a lot of times we don't always have events that uh you know a lot of times things are done by 3 p.m when they're community events so i guess that's going to be able to to aim and catch people that are finished with work or uh, once kids get home and all of that, that, that people can go to it. So if you know anybody that needs to be involved or needs to attend that, help us get the word out about that. And um, as always, Leslie has shared that on our social media page. That's another opportunity that we can get the word out. And then this has been a really cool thing. I know Michael is not able to attend usually when this meeting happens. Uh, Michael Updegraff, our new Putting Kentuckians First Navigator, but he's started an event. Um, this has been launched now in Glasgow. Uh, this will be the third time that it'll happen later this month, but it's basically, some of you guys might be familiar or know that, you know, when a company shuts down, we will do something called a rapid response and bring a lot of employment services and resource providers to these affected employees. This is a similar concept, except nobody's losing their job. This is about getting people to jump in and take advantage of these things. So uh, they've been hosting these at, um, at, right there at the public square of Glasgow. So right in the main center of town. And um, you can see a lot of information on this flyer, but it's aiming to get people that uh, might just need career help, employment, or connecting to recovery resources. So that's what that Putting Kentuckians First program is all about. And um, so they've, they've had it. I, I don't know if anybody on the call has joined. Um, has anybody that's in the meeting here today been to one of those? And I know we have one. Yeah, Shannon, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I did. Because uh, she's she looking for something $20 an hour. Oh, okay, we got so, it. Um, I, we uh, meet at the U-Turn Center there, and uh, we, we set up, and so we are open to walk-ins. Uh, we're trying to encourage, uh, trying to encourage uh, anybody that's leaving court. Uh, to catch them on their way out. And then um, the Phoenix house there, and uh, they had brought their group over 
but it's really for anyone uh, to walk in uh, that needs those resources. And, um, you know, you pretty much covered it. Okay. Great. Um, and I wanted to announce real quick that um, he's, I don't think, joining the meeting. Um, he's often here, but Jake, that a lot of you guys know, he has just taken on a new role uh, with career teams. So John, um, our workforce board president, wrote a grant uh, along with another region just north of us, the Lincoln Trail Workforce Board, to have somebody that could be a coordinator of the electric vehicle production facilities and all the hiring and talent needs that they're going to have. So this will be for a couple of years. It just got approved and he was uh, named into that role. So this is just to get the word out to you guys um, that, I mean, he'll be blasting us, I'm sure, but there will actually be a, a coordinating person um, and a go-between. So he'll communicate back out the needs and uh, anything as far as maybe people trying to get on there that have questions about, you know, both the Ford, uh, the Blue Oval Ford plan and the AESC, or um, it's also been known as Envision plant that we have here in Bowling Green. So uh, he'll be lending support to both of those projects. So just wanted to let you guys know about that. Go ahead, Shannon. Um, one thing that I probably should have said about the uh, the, the Motivated for Change Monday is that if uh, you know anybody that needs those kind of resources, uh, if they come in and they get on our radar, we do follow up with everyone, and yes. we we take accountability for anybody uh, going forward that we that we connect with. Uh, and they can also get on the spot services if they need, for instance, a resume. Someone came in, needed one, and we just did it right on the spot. So awesome. on the spot services and then uh, accountability and follow up going forward. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. And just a quick follow up. So it has been uh, well over a month since we met. And so we did have a big job fair in September. And I just wanted to say, yeah, we had about 150 or so people that turned out. Not all of the employers on that list uh, actually turned out, and I think we had a few couple of late additions too, but uh, that was at the Career Center, which um, this was their second big job fair and hiring event that they had done this year. So we had, I think, closer to 350 at the one we did in January, and they are planning to have another one in January at the Career Center because um, things sort of start to slow down this time of the year with a lot of these companies. So, but anyway... <laughs> overall fairly successful and um, I know that they were tracking I think at least a dozen or more people were able to get hired uh, through that event so we're still waiting on I think some feedback from the companies on that. Um, I always make a shameless plug for this so again I said Leslie's posted some of these events and especially the job fair thing she'll post on our social media so if you're not following that connect with the, uh, the Facebook page you can see facebook.com slash S-C-K-Y-W-D-B, um, to keep it short for the mouthful of words at the South Central Workforce Development Board. But um, if you guys have something that you want to share, that's a great way to and encourage other people to follow that page. But that I think we have a lot of you guys and service providers that are on that page. So please continue to be aware of that. But I'm going to turn it over uh, to Leslie now, too, because she has had a gigantic project that she's trying to take on, which is to revamp completely our website. So we were excited to do a big show and tell here today for the topic um, and show this because this is really highlighting the work of the system. Uh, oftentimes of what we're trying to do, not just the, the board itself, because we're so embedded with so many partners. And so it needs to be a page that works for the community, for job seekers, for partners, for the business community as well. So I'm going to click in um, and pull up that page. All right, can you guys, you probably cannot see it. Let me change. Do you, Brian, do you want me just to share my screen? Can you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you want, want? Oh yeah, you probably want to share your screen so you can click around in it. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think that might be the easiest. Otherwise, it would be like, hey, go to this thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, can you all see my screen? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, first of all, I want to I want to make it very clear that this is still a work in progress. So 
any ideas, anything you see that you think, oh, you know, what about this? I am taking notes um, because I am not a website expert. I, I sort of went into this with the idea, um, how is this going to be the simplest for different groups of people to navigate? And that's what I kept coming back to because we all know that that people get frustrated easily. And if they can't get to something fast, they leave. Our old website, um, it, like it was created, then another group came in and added to it. Then I tried to do a little bit with it. Then Laura Torres came and, and she tried to clean it up and she, she did quite a bit. But it was, we had so many different things going on. I thought it would be easier just to start from scratch. So that's, that's what we've done. Um, so here you see the home page. And what I, and I tried to do a lot of reading on websites and, you know, what people respond to. And usually three things like they, they want to have, okay, a clear path. So what I thought as far as users, you know, job seekers, that's going to be a huge group who would come to this website. Employers is going to be, that's going to be a huge group. And then often on social media, when we have things going on, I will reference, go to our calendar of events. So I thought those are probably the three things that I should make the primary choices. Um, I also tried, I've read that, you know, it's good to include like the best looking people in photos on your homepage. So I've got Shannon and Bianca and Jake um, just so they can draw in, draw in the masses. So. No pressure. Yeah, no, no pressure. I mean, that that's my favorite picture of Shannon. Look how pretty she is in that picture. So this is our home page. And the idea is people click one of these things, but if they don't, I give them a little bit of background on the board, like who we are and what we do. So there's an a little bit of an explanation. And if People want to read more, they can. If they don't, they don't have to. So there is Sweet Anna, who's also on the front page, by the way. Um, again, encouraging people to follow us on social media. I thought it was important to include, you know, where is South Central Kentucky? what regions are part of what we do. And then this is a feature that um, was in included with this particular website platform that you could include your Instagram feed. I would have preferred Facebook, but it, again, it's just a way to encourage people to follow us. And then at the bottom of every page, I've included you know, our standard footer, social media, and then also, you know, take me back to the home page. So where would you guys like to start? Gosh, we've okay. lost them already. <laughs> yeah, I, okay, I'll, I will take that as the, oh, wait, we got We got somebody. Denise, I would say job seekers because that's what I'm I would be yes. dealing with the most. Okay. All right. So job seekers. Thank you, Denise. Here we go. So for job seekers, I've got some general information. And you know, okay, hey, we can help you, but what next? And I'll tell you, this, this part was one of the hardest. And I, I talked with Brian quite a bit about this because I was like, oh my gosh, there are so many directions that we can go. 
I, it, this is going to be very hard to organize, you know, when you, when you really think about it. So what I tried to do was give the big options at the beginning. Where, you know, what do you want to do right now as a job seeker? Do you want to let us know you're interested in getting, you know, in getting with a career advisor and seeking, you know, seeking a, a job or training, talk or meet with a career advisor, try out our interactive job seeker map. And then toward the end, can I just turn that over to you, Brian? So you can show that. Oh, uh, now or later, do you say? Toward, like toward the end. That yeah, way yeah, toward the end, that's that. fine. Mm -hmm. um, explore Career Edge Resume Builder. Learn about WIOA. And then understand focus populations. So those are the biggest ones. Most job seekers, I think, would choose one of these first three or maybe four. But I think this other information is good as well. So what happens when you click those is it just takes you down the page. So everything that I just showed you is on this page. When you click that part, it just takes you directly to that section. So this is the intake form that we ask job seekers to fill out. This goes to career team. And so this puts people on our radar. So if you click, let's go, it takes you directly to our job seeker intake form. And for those of you with eagle eyes, that is actually our intake form. That was, uh, it was unnecessary to do that, but I just thought it was cool that, that I was able to. So, you know, that's the real thing. Whoops, I just noticed I need to put a space in there. Looking for unemployment, it's supposed to be unemployment insurance info. Uh, that's something that people will come to this site wanting to know about. So for this, I thought it was best just to take them directly to the UI portal, then try to explain it on their behalf. You know, that kind of stuff can wind up getting in, in hot water if, you, if your wording is not, is not correct. So I'm just like, okay, you go there. But I, I will fix that unemployment insurance. Then connect with a career advisor. And I just added this part yesterday um, on a career coach on call. So if, if someone is outside Bowling Green, they can go to an access point. So I've given some information on that. If you click on this image, it opens in a larger window so you can see the rotation. Can I just say Shannon can't go anywhere for like a super long time? Yeah, I mean, Shannon. Can we just to update? Yeah, Shannon, yeah. you were and, and, um, Oh, I was going to, excuse me, Leslie, I was just going to say uh, it should be said that Leslie's got quite the magic wand when it comes to these <laughs> pictures. I was, uh, it, it's so magic, in fact, that I was out to dinner with my significant other when he saw a picture that you posted and he said well he had to wonder who he was out to dinner with <laughs> he said if this is you who am I with <laughs> oh, well, that's, he meant you were so much better looking in person right oh I'm sure I'm yeah sure. yeah that's what, that's what I think um so yes well I mean Shannon does a lot you know Shannon does a lot and so that's reflected in, in the photos that we have. So, you know, and it doesn't hurt that you're, you know, that you are photogenic. So this is access points. And when is the career coach on call next coming to your county? When you click view calendar, it goes to our events page. And so here is what's happening right now. Look, isn't this, Cool. We are in the meeting and we're looking at the meeting. Pretty cool. So uh, the calendar, if you haven't used this function before, 
you can enter in keywords like, you know, whatever your county name, uh, what kind of event you're looking for, and see it just lists the first few, but you can load more as you go. So that is what happens when you click the career coach on call. All right, any thoughts, input so far? Y'all yeah. got to talk. You got a holler know. from Amy, uh, Amy Smith Thomas, who said the site is awesome. I looked at it yesterday. Oh, yay. Thank you, Amy. Have You're welcome. <laughs> I think it looks really good. Um, and I have some questions about trying to get some help with a website. <laughs> so okay. okay. Uh, just yeah, and we can we can we can talk, we can talk. This platform is has been a godsend because I'll just tell you, I mean, I did I did not study websites or computers or any of that stuff. So, so yes, I, I'll be happy to share that information with you. Um, then Leslie, I have a question. Yes. So can you back up for a minute back to where you were with the events? Yes. So on the events page, I'll just do that. Yes. So as we go and continue to build more and more and more events, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot happening on that page. And I see where you can search. So can you search by county instead of having to look through every event? Like, can I search Barron County to see er and will everything pop up for Barron or Edmondson or? Just yep, there county. we go. There's, look, I just typed awesome. Logan and there's all the Logan County stuff coming up. That's awesome. So, and this, this is not the website this is actually the online calendar uh it's something called talkify and um we pay it's very reasonable it's like 80 dollars a year to do this and you can upload graphics uh you can do i'll show you this real quick uh Okay, so right here, this is the Simpson County Workforce Collective Luncheon that's coming up on the 14th. And the other cool thing you can do is so, you know, look at this. Oh, it's fancy. I want to go to that. You can actually do registrations within Takapa too. So it's it's a pretty cool thing that is very reasonable. All right, thank you, TJ. Anything else with that? Hey, Leslie, this is Paula, and yes, one, one thing that I really like about it is the calendar. Is I use it to follow Shannon because I'm I'm in different counties. She's in different counties. I'm like, where is Shannon going to be this week? <laughs> So that is very helpful to me. And I actually haven't looked at the job seeker part, but I'm excited about that too. I have not been referring people to it. I guess I just mostly used it, like I said, for the calendar to follow Leslie and the job fairs. Right. Well, and honestly, the way it was set up in the past, it, it just wasn't, there wasn't a clear area for job seekers to go. It was sort of, we had some, we had good information, but it was scattered sort of all over the place. So I would say definitely start referring people to the website now because the layout I think is much more clear for people. You know, um, I had always heard if it takes more than three clicks, they're gone. So that's what I tried to keep thinking, you know, as, as this was being created. So further down on the job seeker page, uh, dive into our interactive job seeker map, and this is this is the huge project that Brian has been working on. That is amazing. I know Anna. I mean, I know a lot of people have worked with this, and 
I'm going to go ahead and click it just to give a preview, but Brian's going to tell you a little bit more about that. Yeah, so, well, Anna, Anna did this, uh, what, at the August, I think, community August. partner team meeting? Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. So we're we're going to be soon. We're looking for we've been looking for a financial sponsor. The back half of the year, first part of the year, we were sort of building it, um, and some of the languages aren't ready yet. So um, if Adam is still in the meeting, um, hopefully you can find this really uh, informative too, because we've tried to put a lot of the resources in different languages. So uh, English, Spanish, and Swahili are up in text. Um, Spanish has audio as well. We're hoping to get audio on Swahili here really soon, and. Um, and then translate it and get it uh, converted into other languages like the Burmese and uh, Pashto Dari, Kareni, maybe Zo or Zomi, something like that. So we, we need some feedback on um, what are some of the other larger um, populations uh, in the community that would that would use it um, of, the, of the groups. But right now it's built in Google Maps. No, sorry, not Google Maps. <laughs> it is a map. Google <laughs> Google site. Right, so, um, so if you were to click on the English one, for example, uh, Leslie, I'll let you do that. Um, the idea is, and it's on a Google site also, but so this will be a full fledged website soon enough where it won't even need a, a Google. If you'll click on just the image there, there's a little video tutorial about how to use it because if anybody knows anything about Google sites that are, I'm sorry, gosh, Google slides they skip around like you know they get these little navigation arrows right and left and if you click anywhere sometimes it usually goes forward and we had to kind of hack that um, but it's still not completely foolproof um but anyway yeah if you'll click on on the image uh leslie um it should uh, this, uh, uh, go down no the one below the video yeah okay. right there. <clears throat> then it opens in a, a separate browser press to continue a couple of times on the right there we got a little video over oh look there you look at brian yeah that's not gonna that that'll probably go away soon oh uh, i hope that's i hope that stays that's a good that, you look very ready i uh, click one more time oh look at that there's brian again yeah <laughs> we did these video we did these <laughs> like I, I felt like a YouTuber, right? Like I, it was just a little video overview, but I was demonstrating how to do it. So if you'll click on go to the main menu, the idea is it's very simple graphics. Um, so we've tried to reduce um, so many of the resources into easy to see display. So if you'll go to employment number one, um, it'll talk about different types of careers, but it'll also talk about the job coaching organization. So click number one. And then you can see a lot of yourselves or go to press here to continue a little overview and then and then the menu opens up. Mm -hmm. uh, many of you guys are featured on this. And so if you clicked on any of them, Leslie doesn't matter which one. Let's do Voc Rehab number seven. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, okay. So it does an overview of Voc Rehab. Um, it shows where their offices are located at. And then the click here to contact us pulls up a contact form that's gonna go to, I believe Paula's inbox. Um, and you can also pick the language that the survey is going to um, come the rest of the way into. So, so the idea is connecting people to people. Um, you know, at the end of the day, another website doesn't solve everything, but it could consolidate in order to just show all of the people um, that exist in this space. And so, we are hanging that as the resource, yeah, on the website. So hopefully, it gets better visibility. But we're still looking. Hopefully, I'm going to find out in a couple of weeks. I keep here, keeps being told it'll be a couple of weeks. But um, when we get a financial backer, then we can really like put all kinds of stuff out and get this into you guys' hands as partners, so that you can blast it and promote it. But so, it is. I mean, they can access it now, right? It's up. It's, it's live. Yeah, JobSeekerMap.com. Yeah, and if you forget that, you can go to our JobSeeker page, and you know it's on there as well. The yep. link. So. Um, Continuing on the on the job seeker page, we have Career Edge, which is an amazing resource for job seekers. Um, so if they click that, it will take them to Career Edge, where they can sign up for free, take tutorials, um, create a resume. I mean, there is so much good stuff. Like I made my son go through it, um, and he. He didn't hate it. So that that is a huge endorsement on his behalf. We owe a, um, a lot of people, you know, will the average job seeker really want to dive into this? 
I don't know. But I felt like it was important to explain, hey, here's what we owe is. Um, here, here is, here is some information on it. And, you know, here, take me to the page that shows specific policies. Are you eligible? And this just, just takes them to the standard intake form. Um, but it gets them in, in motion for finding out if they are WIOA eligible. Focus populations, uh, same thing. If they click any of these pictures, it just takes them to that section on the page. So secondary student, post-secondary, veterans. We've got a cool video narrated by John that had somehow been lost on the old web page. It was buried uh, and I found it and it's good. So it's definitely worth watching. Um, I've included a link to Kentucky Vet Connect, our program with Fort Campbell. And so again, if someone clicks, it takes them to the Kentucky Vet Connect website where employers can look at the different candidates from Fort Campbell and read about their qualifications. So again, that is another, another service that we're extending through this website. Okay, New Americans, again, that takes them to the job seeker map, reentry, justice involved. Um, I've got the motivated for change, contact putting Kentuckians first, and an interest form, long term unemployed. You know, again, every our goal is primarily to get the job seeker to fill out the interest form. That that's the main thing that gets the process rolling. But hopefully, this does this does this make sense? If you are a job seeker and you're looking at this, does this make sense? Okay. I'm going to take that as a, yeah. I mean, it seems intuitive to me, Leslie. I, I think that it's, I think it makes sense. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And again, I'm excited I, to that, check it out. And I'm wondering, do you have a listing of jobs? No, we don't. We don't have a, a listing of jobs. Um, you know, I don't know that. And I'll just be honest with you, Pam. That that is a whole other like I that would be a huge almost like another website almost to keep that accurate and updated. And um, you know, I know we've got Bowling Green Works uh for the Warren County community. Um, you know, at some point we may look into doing something like that because they're it's something that's needed, um, but to be candid, I don't know if it's something that I personally could carry out. It's a very large feat. Yeah. It's, it's a moving target. Yeah. Um, and so, like, I know that it's been tried in the past, I guess, being in this community and in, in these positions for so long and just trying to keep it up um, because, you know, you got a list, but they may have filled half those positions and they've added 50 more right and so it's just it's a continuous moving target and what we found when we try to do this in the past was the that um that the list were ended up being so outdated by the time we got them completed and got them out there that it is what it didn't work so well if that makes sense yeah so, i would answer that pam um a couple of ways. One is, yeah, it's a monstrosity to try to keep up with it. I've often said it's like trying to keep up with all the lost cats and dogs in town. Like, yes. <laughs> best you can do is put a flyer up on a pole and and or maybe a Facebook post up in your neighborhood Facebook page, right? And and wish for the best. But keeping up with what dogs still lost, um, some of those dogs get found two minutes later, right? 
And so mm -hmm. it's it's the same with websites. Um, sometimes job seekers get very frustrated because, and I've had it happen where I'm looking on like a bank website and say, oh, they got something that looks like it fits for a financial advisor thing that your background mm -hmm. is in. And then you contact somebody at the bank and say, well, we're not really hiring for that right now. Why is it up on your website? You know, and, and it's not the person I'm talking to is maybe a decision about when the website gets updated or right. doesn't get updated. So it's very hard. I would yes. say, Pam, the best resource for jobs is people, right? So I think the idea is to connect people to people um, that have a better finger on the pulse. So you know what opportunities you have, you know what opportunities you would be lacking if somebody came in requesting something and then you can pick up the phone or uh, use email and try to make a match happen. And I think it's very much, that's that's necessary because we're getting so many job seekers lost in the online stuff. Adding something else in that space, it's going to require a username, a password, or something else for them to remember. And it's, it's just, it's so cumbersome. Um, but there are some tools. Um, there's, there's something called the National Labor Exchange. It scrapes up a lot of jobs. It's out there that's picking up if somebody's posted a job. Um, of course, Indeed and all of those things are there. But, you know, a lot of times what people get frustrated is, is they're not getting responded to when they were applied to a job. Right. Um, and so, again, the value of the human connection to say, let me try to call or let me ask somebody on our team or let me ask somebody on the community partner team. Do they have any relationship with an employer uh, at, at this place um, or in this field because I've got somebody looking and that that's a little bit better. It's like taking res restaurant recommendations. You know, it's like the difference between saying, where would you like to eat and saying, well, there's restaurants on Scottsdale Road. Giving somebody the internet's like saying there's restaurants on Scottsdale Road. I mean, it's like that didn't answer my question. Like I've got a very specific appetite and requests and like, I don't know if I can eat everywhere that's open on Scottsdale Road, right? So taking the time to kind of have somebody work through all the preferences is very important, we think, so. Well, and two, um, the career advisors do have like an in-house job opening sheet that they get from, that they keep from employers. So it's not something that they share publicly, but it's something that they use when people come in looking for positions. So, you know, that there's something, but that is like a small in-house type of thing. So... Um, I'm now on the employer page and gosh, it's, I'm going to have to wind up real quick here. Um, but for employers, again, I've got, it's the same concept. If you click something up here, it's just going to take you further down the page. This is just meant to make it easy for people to get to where they want to go. If they know immediately, I want to go to this section. So I have the business services menu and for stuff like this, that's a little bit hard to read. I have made it to where it opens up a full page view. So it's easier to read. Um, the employer toolkit, Brian, this probably is what you were talking about rather than the job seeker map. Mm -hmm. Wanting to talk about it. Okay. All right. Sorry. I got mixed, mixed up. So I'll have Brian take over here in just a second on the employer toolkit. It is very, it, I mean, it is very, very cool. Very cool. And with Pam's question and just the response, I'm wondering if maybe at some point we should consider a job seeker toolkit with like the different resources or something. I don't know. Just an idea. I'm just throwing it out there. Well, and Leslie, I, I had a thought um, around the job seeker side. Uh -huh. I know that you had the WIOA tab in there, uh -huh. where you could click the WIOA tab, but I'm wondering somewhere in there, um, I sit on the same side of the table as you right now, um, but, you know, and, and you as well, Western, you know, it because a lot of people may not be WIOA eligible, but they might be interested in training with SkyCTC, or they right. might be interested in linking because they're eligible for the veteran trio program, right, to be able to get into education or uh, some short-term or long-term training at Western. So is there somewhere in here that we could put, you click that link and here are some available opportunities? With with or Sky CTC is some some local providers um, and other opportunities outside of what we owe. Uh, 
um, because again, we may have individuals that aren't eligible for WIOA, uh, right? But, but they're job seekers and they're seeking education. Yeah, the, right. the job seeker map actually has that. We didn't click it as an example, but there's a training section and it lists all of I the region's it. trainings. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I no, no, it's okay. We didn't we didn't click on it. No. Um, but it's that was the idea is that's the job seeker toolkit is that it's all sitting there where they can explore and connect. Um, well, so that, okay, you, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say that raises a good point. I probably should do some sort of link where I can jump just to that section of the toolkit on the job seeker page. That might once, be that, that might be helpful. Once we have that as its own website, well, I think that'll be real easy to do. Yeah. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Uh, for the WIOA, whenever you're applying for the WIOA um, application, is that what's going to go directly to my email? I know Brian and I had discussed it at one point in time. Is that what, is that application was going to go directly to my email? Well, the right now, when it says, are you, you know, are you eligible for WIOA? It mm -hmm. takes you straight to that same intake form. Right. I filled one out. <laughs> Just okay. like, I, I did fill one out because I was testing to see like what it did. Yes. So it takes you straight to that that same form, which will then get passed to you. Okay. Well, actually, okay. actually, Leslie and Tony, no, actually that goes to CDO, Tony. That's the same form everybody at the career center signs in on. So if they get it and see that they're, they're asking for training, it should be just like anybody that's doing it at the yeah. center. Level. They'll go to you that way. Yeah. Okay. So it won't um, directly go to my email when they're just applying for WIOA. No, well, when they're just filling out the job seeker form, it won't. But um, on the job seeker map, some of those trainings and things like WEXs and things like that are described. Those do go to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you're you're going to get them one way or the other, Tony. I think so. <laughs> oh. All right. So real quick on this page, uh, what is a workforce board? I mean, honestly, it's complicated. So I I tried to make it as simple as possible. Um, Brian shared this video with me and I po posted it. It's a very good overview of what a workforce board is. Here are all the things by law the board is tasked with doing. There's a lot of stuff. Um, charting our connections. You know, a lot of people don't understand. Oh, what? How is the board connected to the career center? Or what? Who's? You know, how is career team fit into all this? So, um, with the help of John and Frank, uh, created this graphic, and then we've got our partners, board members. If you click right here. It shows you our board members and what I tried to do was just I took pictures of individuals and then took the background out and put in the same background for everybody so it looks like we have posed pictures sort of um, but I think it makes the site we just look more for real I think if that <laughs> if that if that's a professional term I don't know but but there's our board members and then our team. Here we are. That Shannon lady looks familiar. <laughs> yeah, I've seen her somewhere before. <laughs> and with all of these, you know, you can email any of the individuals on that page. And then um, I've got board meetings, I've got board archives, and there are some, I want y'all to look, oh my goodness. Just look at this page. So local plan, regional plan, you click on that, it opens a big document. Then all these are individual documents. So there is so much information you could read for days and days and days. And finally, I'll end with the community partners page. Um, I'm adding more to this. It is not, you know, it is not complete by any means. So I have included on this page the link 
So if something happens and, and you know there's a partner meeting and you can't find the email link, you can always go to this page, Community Partners, and the link will be there. And then we the owe a contact. I'm sorry. Do yes. we have a we owe a contact? We owe a contact. Um, Tony Palmer. There she is. Tony, would you put your oh, awesome. contact information in the chat? Do you mind? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. So these pictures are not going to stay because I just added this section. I'll put some some pictures here. But if you ever miss a meeting, you can click right here and it will go to our YouTube community partner team playlist, which, you know, I can't look, look at the 13 views, seven views, man. I mean, we're, we're this close to going viral guys. So just let's keep it up. But it is it is a good resource. Like if that was just you clicking it several times to make sure the link worked less. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should do that and just click it a bunch. That's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that. Okay. So that and then connect. I've got information on how to connect with us. But again, I am I am completely open to hey, you know. What about this? What about that? I want it. My main goal is just for this to be useful and for this to be used. Uh, we have a website, so why not make it something that people can actually benefit from using? So thank you for letting me share. Uh, I, you know, you can always email me with input, suggestions. Uh, it is a work in progress. So I'm going to... Uh, stop sharing so you can do your thing, Brian, or do you want oh. me just to open it while I'm here? I just have one more thing. Great job, Leslie. This looks great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Very good. Thank um, you. Real quick, I just want to say, I put my email address in there. The phone number that I put in there is for participants. Um, co work like workers if you guys want to email me I can give you my my direct information too um but the number that I have listed is for participants I'm also going to upload a warm handoff file so that way it can be emailed to me or anybody on my team they can get it to me either or we fill those out for participants of course and any of those I'll contact them as soon as I get on so well and that would be something good for me to include I think on the on the website I don't know where would be the best spot for that. So if you have any ideas, you know, let me let me know for that. I would think under community partners, Leslie. Community partners. Mm -hmm. That too. Yeah. That's where we yeah. normally get those from. Hey Tony, would you care to send that to me too through email? Warm handoff. Uh-huh. Just to make sure I've got the most up-to-date one. Yes, I sure can. Thank you. All right, Brian, did you want me to quit sharing or do you want me to just go to the toolkit and you walk um, through it? Yeah, we'll do the toolkit real quick. I'll just do like a 30 second commercial for it. So um, okay. this thing is almost finished too, but it's been a major project. So the job seeker map was more um, job seeker facing, individual facing. This toolkit right now, it's not a website. It's a Google doc, a pageless Google doc, but you can see the table of contents and an overview outline thing there on the side that you can jump around and go to different parts. Um, but the five parts that it's got, if you'll scroll up just slightly, not down, but up, back up to the top, um, are, yeah, just the workforce ecosystem. So who's in it? Who's in this space? This is meant to be handoff to, as you can see, the description at the bottom there, human resource professionals and talent recruiters. So if somebody just got off you know, the plane and came to Bowling Green, like what's here in town? Um, what's available? How can I connect to finding different uh, types of support? Um, so there's just the players that are in this space, the public and the private ones, um, the business intelligence of some of that labor data um, and, and things that they might wanna know about. Often companies wanna know what prevailing wages are and, um, and things like that. And they can look that stuff up on their own. Hiring events, obviously that's been a very popular thing. So there's um, the same offering that you saw on the website. We've got that 
listed there. And then untapped talent. Um, Leslie, if you'll click to that one on the actual image, I think it'll take you there. No, oh, okay. Um, then it's a little bit further down on the outline. Access thing untapped. Oh, you went too far. Go a little, yeah, right there to the yeah, left. So um, we've got, you know, just what does that mean? There's a quote from an article, but these are back to the focus population. So if you'll scroll down, um, you know, we're talking about supportive services. That's something that's another WIOA program that can help somebody who's maybe trying to get into a job. Obviously, the resume and application assistance, that's the the core of what a lot of happens at the Career Center, but we're breaking down each of these other populations and who some of the players are, some of the best practice guides that are out there um, for each population. So um, trying to assemble and compile this information um, and, and showcase the providers that there are. And I know there's like sub pockets of sub pockets of sub pockets of, um, you know, uh, places, but again, it's meant to connect human resource people to other people and to, and to programs. So it's it's just basically glorified links with a little bit of a description, but you can see we've got points of contact. So a lot of times it's, again, you go to the website, you're on another choose your adventure because maybe that website's not designed very well. Um, so whether they ever click on the link to go to the agency or not, we want to give them basic contact information and point people um, for some of these programs. So anyway, that's the idea, trying to break it down into, into themes um, of how somebody might want to explore and search and get around. So like I noted that I don't want to see Scott's ETC workforce over there. It's it's going to be, it's there. Um, I, I haven't I haven't built out that part yet, but it's underneath it. um, more resources, professional training. I just didn't know mm -hmm. who to reach out to you or. Yeah. But I noticed um, Scott Career Services was there, but I did not see the workforce solution. So. Yeah, and I've got to add the, the Career Services part too, because again, it's just like, some of these things are not open to the public, right? Like, like your program is... Technically open to the public, but it's also you got to be a student. Um, no, no, we're a pre enrollment. Oh, you're the pre enrollment. Yeah, so, yeah, so, so, so it's actually open. It, it, our only thing is you have to be a veteran. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's a little more focused, but it is definitely open to everyone. Uh, you don't have to be. In fact, we help just as many folks go into Sky CTC as going into WK. Sure, sure, yeah. But I think my thought was this is an employer toolkit and workforce solutions is an employer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got workforce solutions listed there, but I still have to build out a description yes. and the contact yeah, info yeah. and stuff. Yeah. yeah, and a link to the website. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, yeah, and this, as you can see, it is a ton of information. Yes. A ton of information. So hopefully a good resource for you guys as well. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, Brian, I, I, want me I to think that's, that's it. We've gone over our time. So I yeah, appreciate you guys letting us do our our show and tell here, but awesome. this is again, a big role of the board is to just lift up all of the ships, right? And um, websites are kind of fun, not necessarily easy, right, Leslie, but um, and that's a lot of purposeful ways to try to showcase a lot of things under yeah. kind of one roof, since we're not all under technically one physical roof, yeah. but to try to put it under an online roof um, and let both from a, our two customers are, um, you know, job seekers and employers. So trying to trying to show them and give them guides on yeah. where to go and how to yeah. connect because um, it's been pretty much impossible. It's a lot of you guys that have been around for years, you know, we were supposed to have like a single point of contact system years ago that we were trying to build. And that's just impossible because right, for years, it's as much as you can get one person. I mean, things change, things turn over, new programs come on, some go offline, but like it, this is meant to be like, I don't know, but let me find out you know, and then you can go to a source. And if it's not there, let us know um, because that means we might need to get it added, so. And I think that employer toolkit's great and that's a ton of information to have to pull together mm -hmm. to put on there. But I think that's a great, a, a great, not just for job seekers, but nonprofits and everybody, we can, we can click into that to look at the resources and stuff too. So yeah, and again, just like the meetings here, we're trying to stick to the theme of employment and training and education. So we're not gonna list like where to go get food, clothing and shelter. Right. You know, that's, right. you know how to waste 211, we've got that listed. Like that's where you can go right. and ask a question like that. Right. Um, and, and that's even harder to keep up with. Um, yes, definitely. So, but yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for sticking through all the way to the end. Um, 
Yeah, six minutes over. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Great. Um, I, I was going to say real quick, I've got a slide, but I won't pull it back up. For the December meeting, what we did last year was we did end of the year highlights and we let you guys share success stories back out to the rest of us as sort of like a, a hurrah. Do you guys want to do that again? Does that sound fun? Something that we can get everybody to kind of contribute towards? Okay, because then that kind of becomes a group show and tell. Um, so be thinking about that. We'll be trying and needing to collect stories, um, probably just, you know, rapid fire, you know, three to five minute ones so we can feature a lot of different programs and things. But show and tell the successes that, that people have had, employers have had um, with all the great services that we provide. So that meeting will be December the 7th, I believe. Let me look December real quick. No, oh, it is the 7th. Yeah, that's the first Tuesday in December. So December the 7th, same bat time, same bat channel. I was not able to share the warm handoff in the chat. I did email it to Leslie. If anybody would like for me to send them a copy, just please email me and I'll send you a copy. Okay. All I right. It sounds good. Great. Good job, guys. All right. Yes. Great job, Leslie. Thank you so much, everybody. See you next month. Thank you. See ya.